Hello and welcome to what's today's number? Today's number is 129. That is the mass in grams of the iPhone 6. The technology is extremely light and we measure mass in grams, so your job is to show me 129 in expanded form, in word form, as hundreds, tens, and ones in a place value chart, and as a bonus, show me one more and one less than 129, 10 more and 10 less, and 100 more and 100 less. So please have your teacher press pause on this video and try these problems. We measure mass on a balance scale in grams. So when two masses are even, my scale is balanced. When two masses are not even, my scale is not balanced and tips. So I would need 129 grams on one side to be the same as one iPhone to make them equal. So let's look at 129 and again, these numbers hide other numbers. I have nine ones, which covers the zero in the 20 out of 120, and the 20 covers the 100. So when I put them back together, I can see my 100 hidden underneath my 20, and then my nine comes and covers that 129. So in expanded form, we have one 100 plus two tens plus nine ones, and we write that as 129. In place value disks, I'm going to want to show nine ones, and whenever I make anything more than five, I like to group them in groups of five, so they look similar to a ten frame, so I can quickly and easily count and know that one less than ten is nine. I have nine ones, twenty is made up of two tens, and one hundred is made up of one hundred. When I do one less and one more, there's only one place value that's going to be affected, and that's my ones. So if I take one away from nine, that leaves me with eight ones, 128. Now here's a tricky one. If I add one to nine, that makes 10, which means I'm going to have one more 10. One more than 129 is 130, because 29 plus one makes 30. Now for 10 more and 10 less, that's going to affect the number in my tens place, which in this case is my two tens or my 20. If I take one 10 away from two tens, that makes one 10, or 119. If I add 10 more, 129 plus 10 is 139. Again, I'm only affecting the number in my tens place, and likewise, 100 less is going to affect the number in my 100s place. So if I take 100 away from 100, that leaves me with 0 100, so I would have only 29 left. If I add 100 to 100 and 20, 129, that's going to make two 100s, or 229. Have a great day.